Hello, everyone. We are live with leadership with our ACPA president, Vernon Wall. Today, we're discussing the new strategic plan for the association to lead and inspire the higher education and student affairs community as we approach our celebration of our 100th anniversary in 2024. My name is Angela Hoffman Cooper, and I use she, her, and hers pronouns. I'm the director of professional development in the international office with ACPA, College Student Educators International. It's great to have you here with us today. We would like to begin with a land acknowledgement. Related to our mission of supporting and fostering learning through the generation and sharing of knowledge, ACPA, College Student Educators International, would like to acknowledge that the land each of us is on today is the original homeland of indigenous and tribal nations. We acknowledge the painful history of genocide and forced removal from these territories, and we honor and respect the many and diverse indigenous peoples still connected to this land. ACPA strongly advocates for higher education and student affairs professionals to honor the land, the original tribal occupants, and the history of the place where you're located. Further, we have a responsibility to continually self-educate, reflect, and listen to the histories and people in our areas, including tribal land acknowledgements and practice and understanding and acknowledging history is not only respectful and educational, it is the justice oriented advocacy necessary for continuing the work of dismantling the devastating effects of settler colonialism in our society. We're really excited to have you here with us today. We do wanna share, share that the session is being recorded and captioning will be embedded within 24 hours as a video on our Facebook page. If you have questions, we do ask that you make a comment on this post and we'll be sure to address those as we go or at the end. Thanks again for joining. And I'd now like to turn it over to your ACPA president, Vernon Wall. Thanks, Angela. Hello everyone, Vernon Wall here, he, him, his. Um, just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you um, chatting about our strategic priorities for the association. Um, many of you may remember that you received a fantastic graphic email. If you, if you can't find it, go to your spam, because it could be there. Um, but please find it because um, I really love the graphic number one, it's just cool. And I love the um, way in which we share this information with you. And thanks to our international office for really pulling together this resource so you'll know our direction. I um, want to begin by thanking um, the chairs of this process, um, Leilani and Dean, who are on, who are on our governing board. Um, and really, we approved this, um, these strategic priorities in December of 2019. Um, and I think many of us, um, have been a part of strategic planning processes in our lives. And I will say that for me, they can either be soul crushing or joyful and everything in between. You just never know. Um, I will say that the best part about this process for me was that it, it felt very joyful. Um, and I do believe Leilani and Dean set the tone for that. They're great leadership. It was just people were, so people were actually excited for the next call when we were ready to talk about the strategic plan. And so I believe that that says a lot about um, who we are as an association. Um, I'm just gonna share um, each priority with you. And the way I'm gonna do this is share the, bar share the priority and then share with you how I feel you as a member or as a student affairs professional can assist us with that priority. So the first priority, um, is attending to our current and future membership. Um, we know that um, ACPA members are part of our association for belonging, for career support, for resources, for professional development, all of those. And we wanna make sure that we attend to that um, in whatever way we can. We, we need your help in terms of member recruitment. So anytime that you know of folks who aren't ACPA members, forward membership, membership information to them and have them join us. Um, also too, we're rolling out um, a new institutional membership. I'm calling it the super membership, um, which you'll be able to find online, but we also have our institutional membership. I know that during this time um, of limited resources, um, sometimes folks 
tend to wonder then why you know would we be pushing for for folks to be members of associations during this time well let me tell you that this is actually the perfect time to be a member of an association mainly because through your membership you will receive professional development opportunities and for many of you your travel budgets have been cut you've been telling us that you don't have an opportunity to even sometimes visit places and go so this is the opportunity you'll be able to get low cost if not free professional development opportunities through your acpa membership so our goal is to continue to be of support to our current and future membership really getting a sense for what that looks like as we see our membership shift and change as we move forward. So please, you know, join, renew, recruit. Those are the three things that I want you to consider. The second um, strategic priority is generation and sharing of transformative educational experiences. I can't even begin to talk enough about the great resources that we continue to roll out People tell us all the time in terms of feedback that the professional development opportunities that we offer through our institute, through our ACPA to go series, through our um, possibility conversations, the crowdsourcing conversations, you name it. And of course, coming up, the ACPA 21 experience, um, all of that, um, is, and we will continue to offer that. I have been amazed at some of the topics that have come across my desk and I read every ad and, and so excited that our members are stepping up and being a part of all of our mostly virtual experiences now, because that's where we are. So the way you can assist us is number one, attend those, you know, and share those. You know, when your colleagues are looking for um, things, what I typically do is when I get an email that talks about a PD event, I think about people who could benefit from it. I'm always posting things on my Facebook. Those of you who know me know I do that. Um, <clears throat> but we always, we need to do that. We need to attend and we need to share. Um, and we're committed to continuing to provide those experiences for you in creative ways. And if you have a topic and you'd like to be a part of some of these experiences and you want to share information, please <clears throat> reach out to the international office and let us know. We would love to have you join in that way. Um, the third um, priority is um, maintaining and increasing our strength in research and scholarship. It's no it's, it's no surprise that when folks think about um, research and scholarship in higher education, the very first association people think of is ACPA. And it continues to be that. We continue to, I'm, I'm continuing to be amazed at the amazing scholars and practitioners that we have that step up and really and truly develop um, the Journal for College Student Development, about campus development, also to um, our uh, publications that um, are that we connect with stylists with. All of these things are tremendous. And so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to um, think of new and different ways in which we can engage folks in, in terms of scholarship. We want it to be bold. We want it to be critical. And we want it to be informing practice. I mean, that's what we are in our degree. We are the leaders when it comes to um, research and scholarship. And we want to continue in that way. And we want to build on it. So the thing that you can do is submit articles. Um, think about you know, something that you're passionate about and submit and, and, and encourage others to submit. Um, and you know, make sure that you, anytime that I get an email that is um, a resource around research and scholarship, I always throw it in a, a folder <clears throat> so I'm ready um, when topics come up and I need some um, research in order to, um, or some great scholarship to um, support some of the things that I'm doing. The fourth um, strategic priority is um, association leadership and presence. Now, what's interesting about this priority is I don't believe in 2019 in December when this was passed um, or when our strategic plan was, was approved, I don't believe we had any thought of what we would be today in higher education, whether it be around COVID-19, whether it be around DACA, whether it be around racial injustice and protests, whether it be around xenophobia, specifically with Asian American students and the COVID-19 pandemic, Black Lives Matter, violence against trans people of color. Um, it, I, I know that it really shows that we are an association that we may have had 
a minor crystal ball um, that talked a little bit about who we are as an association, and that's who we've always been. But to, to see this priority, association leadership and presence now, in present time, is different for me. Um, it is now more than ever, we have to step up. We have a strategic imperative for racial justice and decolonization. We have to show up differently in higher education with our peers and our colleagues because we need to be the leaders. Um, and so we're talking about that. Um, already though, leading up to everything that's happened now in 2020, um, Chris Moody um, has been representing ACPA as, a, as our executive director. Um, and when he sits with other association leaders, and we kind of, we jokingly say this, but it's very true that when issues of inclusion, social justice, decolonization, racial inequities, anything comes up around those topics of equity and inclusion, the whole table looks to Chris Moody to say, well, what's ACPA doing? Because they know that we are the association that really and truly has this at the center of who we are. And so we need to take that and continue to build on what Chris has done and continue to share, here's who we are. Here's how we can be of assistance to you. Um, definitely, there are some things that we'll be rolling out in the next few months that will be resources for folks that are connected to um, the strategic imperative as we continue to have these conversations because it really is important for us to recognize the fact that now more than ever, we must step forward and, 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 and be of assistance to folks um, in higher education. Um, how you can be, how you can assist us in this way is by joining um, and supporting our entities. Um, I will say that I have been so, so appreciative of our entities and the resources and the community support that they have done over the last three to four to five months, um, just to allow people not only just to gather, but also to say, here's some things that will be of assistance to you. Many of our entities have developed um, webinars <clears throat> and engaging activities for folks to talk about um, the current state of higher education, either on their campus or in their community. We've got a lot that's gonna be happening within the, as we move um, throughout the next few, um, just actually the next few months. Um, and year. So we would like to be poised to be of support to that. And, and you can assist us by being in that space also too. Um, those are the things that I wanted to make sure I mentioned. The fifth piece is the exciting piece. All of this leads into a culmination of celebrating 100 years of ACPA um, in Chicago in 2024. Um, this is where we will share all of the things that we have done since our inception and, and beyond. And we are so excited to be able to start the process very soon of getting some people together to talk about, so what does 100 years of ACPA look like? So from now until Chicago, we will be um, making those plans, having some conversations, um, really and truly preparing for that time and really knowing that um, we have been an association that has been boldly transforming higher education. Um, and so we, we wanna continue to be that. Now more than ever, that tagline, boldly transforming higher education really reigns true because we gotta, we gotta really be in these conversations. As you all know on your campuses, things, situations, policies, procedures change daily or hourly sometimes. I was talking to a professional on a campus once and said they'd just gotten out of a staff meeting um, and they'd talked about some things that they really wanted to implement as they looked into what would fall um, 2020 look like. And by the time they, they got off the um, Zoom call and um, got, a, got, a, got some food for lunch and got back, there was an email that had pretty much changed everything that they talked about um, in the meeting they did just had two hours ago. So I know that this is a time where things are continuing to um, really and truly change at a rapid space and at a rapid pace. So we wanna be here and be supportive of you in that way. So those are the things I'm thinking about. Those are the priorities. Um, please feel free to take a, a look at the um, email when you get a moment. Um, if you can't find it, you can always quick send a quick email to the ACPA International Office and they can forward it to you again. Um, but it really does share some things. We already have some, um, we have what we call different phases of the strategic plan. We're already in phase one now. We already have 
some things that we've done that we've already shared with our governing board and others. And we will continue to share things. Um, so this is not a document that's gonna sit. It, it's really continuing to evolve and move. And we're excited about what that looks like as we continue um, to move forward in higher education. So thank you so much. I don't know if, if Angela, if there were any things that folks either highlighted or wanted me to talk even more about, but wanted to give you a chance to take a look at that. Great. Yeah, I'm not showing any questions yet. Thank you so much for your update and overview of the strategic plan. I think it's very exciting. Um, and I think it's really great, even as you were describing it, Vernon, to think about how um, everyone can really have a, a place within the strategic plan kind of across the association at all levels. And it is really exciting to see um, some of the you know work and efforts that have already come out towards the phase one of the strategic plan. And so I think there's some exciting things definitely ahead. Well, and I think too, that typically when people see strategic plans, they sometimes don't see themselves in them. And I ask people to read through the document and think of how you see yourself in the plan, uh, because we want every member to see themselves in some sort of way in all of these um, pro uh, strategic priorities. Um, and so that's, that's what I encourage folks to do is say, okay, so this is how this impacts me. Um, this is how I may be of assistance. Um, yeah. So it's very evolving. So. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for those of you who are joining us live and those of you who will later be reviewing the recording. Again, this session um, is recorded and will have captions embedded within 24 hours as this will be a video on our ACPA Facebook page. And then we do invite you to join us for other upcoming professional development events. Vernon referenced several of those. Um, including our ACPA 21 convention, March 14th through 17th, 2021. And I'll drop that link into the comments for folks that wanna check out that experience and get prepared and start registering. We also invite folks to join for our upcoming ACPA to go webinar series. So this is our webinar series we've had going on over the past several months now. And coming up here in July, we have our reinventing higher education webinars with the Washington Consulting Group. Uh, we have a webinar on equity on campus, preparing uh, to return to institutions made more inclusive of students' diverse religious, secular, and spiritual identities, and that'll be with Convergence. And Vernon, you're actually one of the panelists for that presentation. So uh, that's yeah. Great. yeah. And then um, we also have one coming up here. Um, where do we go from here? A diversity, equity, and inclusion roundtable on transforming our work for a virtual world. So um, certainly striving to be responsive to our current times, current needs, um, and ever evolving and changing needs, and really listening um, to members of what you want to see of professional development opportunities. So we encourage you to reach out to us. Um, you're welcome to reach out to me as our director of professional development with information of what sort of um, professional development needs do you have during this time. We're happy to support those um, and certainly get you the information that you need to thrive um, in the midst of everything. And so thank you again, wishing you all the best as we continue to navigate this time together. Thank you.